And now we are going to play chapter 4 6. As much as I would like to regret uh, not hiring Susanna again, I don't really need to. I've already got my party slots filled, but at least I know how to do it. So, anyway, with that out of the way, 4 5 between the walls is done, and now we will move on to chapter 4 6, penultimate battle. So, it even says here it's the second to the last chapter. It literally says penultimate. You know what that means. Hang on a sec. The Nevanese capital, Balti, lies protected within tall mountains. The rugged terrain makes invasion notoriously challenging and thus seen as a natural fortress. Balti is not only the royal and political capital of the empire, but it is also the cultural center. The people indulge in the empire's finest cheese and wine, chocolate truffles beyond compare, all with beautiful art and stunning place made even more gorgeous with the impassable mountains as a backdrop. They really make it a point to tell you about the cheese and the wine. Like, it's... Okay, I get it. We get we get the reference that they're noble and rich and they like cheese and wine and tea and biscuits, but it's so on the nose. We get it. There's probably more ways for you to set, to talk about food, rich people food, that don't involve cheese and wine. I don't know, maybe something like suckling, roast suckling pig or something. Jeez. So... Now we will charge into the capital? I suppose it is better than waiting for them to bring the fight to us. Yes, precisely, Chief. They have the advantage in both numbers and terrain. There aren't any good ways for an outside force to approach them. Balti was built in the mountains for this very purpose. Deterring invaders with its craggy, perilous terrain. Treacherous indeed. Do they have any sort of weapons we should know about? Your standard fare, my dear Storch. Ballista, siege mages, here's some wyvern lords. Nothing out of the ordinary, simply the fundamentals. Only executed extraordinarily well. Hmm, I see. General Bromhilda. What's she like? She's a she's as tough as they come, both a shrewd strategist and a fearsome warrior. It won't be easy. Knowing her, she'll want to take the field herself and leave the gate to the city to Lord Alexander of Horshad. So, we are in for quite a fight then. Commander Erasmus, I understand she's close to you. If you don't want to fight, no, it's quite all right. Lord Titus, I've made my choice. What happens, happens. I do not think talking with her will do much good either. We will just need to fight her head on, unfortunately. I do have a quest pressing question, and pardon my ignorance, as I am not familiar in the ways of Nebanese politics. If we are victorious here, what then? How do you mean, Chief? In Kuching, when the Grand Chief is challenged from within, the person leading that challenge becomes the Grand Chief. So will you, Lord Titus, become Emperor? Well, if I must, then I suppose it's the only way. Hmm, so modest. As long as you remain an ally to Kuching, I care not. Perhaps the others have thoughts they want to share? Nothing else here. Lord Siostrom is dead. Lady Sigrid will ascend the throne of Lomsk. She is not fit for Empress. At least not at her age with limited experience. Lord Lori has remained neutral in this conflict, so she is a wild card. But I don't think she would garner as much support as Lord Titus. Lord Darien fell to our blades and Lord Alexander lies in wait. I suppose there's what no one more suitable than Lord Titus. What about Nair? Does Festan have a kid? Any family at all? Emperor Festan has no children, at least none that are publicly known. He has never taken a wife either. If I may interject, I will say that Emperor Festan did frequent the comfort houses back when I was young. While he was not the most frequent noble to visit, there were a few girls, old friends of mine, and he fancied a great deal. An illegitimate child is not outlandish. A bastard child? Could be problematic. Indeed. Let's table this discussion for another time. We should first focus on the battle. Now then, let's begin the war council in earnest. Cousin, I do not believe you. Not for a second. You wound me, cousin. That woman was giving me the eye. Perhaps even both eyes. He's at least twice your age, cousin. So what? Does that make her any less worthy of me? These are questions I will choose to not answer. Arcady, Vigilus, how are you two faring? I'm eager for this to be over. This has gone on long enough. You said it, cousin. I'm beat. I understand. This campaign has taken a toll on all of us. Such is the nature of the commoner. 
The nobles sit in their councils and discuss issues of great import. While we do all the heavy lifting, we have been cast aside. Major protagonists once, now extras on this grand stage. The tale of our adventures, no more. It's become a tale of Lord Titus strutting about for the other nobles. Now, now, don't speak, y speak ill of him here, both of you. Put your negative feelings aside for now. Soon we will go home. And then we can get back on with our lives. Mm, I hope so. Something tells me life will be different when we return. Even if it is the same. But cousin, just think. Local ale? The coastal breeze? Perhaps even a lovely woman to hold your hand. Whispering sweet nothings in her ears. Longing for a kiss. It'll be wonderful, cousin. I do not think this has ever happened to you, cousin. Allow me to dream, cousin. Hey. How was the council, Storch? What's the plan? We head off tomorrow. I'll explain the rest. Lord Alexander, do you remember the plan? We will guard the gate. I will lead our forces in the field. If we fall, Emperor Festan will take them on from his castle. I see. General Bromhilda, good luck. Hmm. In battles like these, luck may be all we have. Her intensity is palpable, yet she is awe-inspiring. The rumors of her strategic mind are well-founded. This is one of the tightest defensive formations I've seen. I cannot afford to lose now. My wife and children need me. Not just them, but the people of Horshat as well. Nay, all of Neva. I will defend this gate with my life. Seize the gate within 25 turns to win the map. If you take longer, you'll get a game over. Huh. You don't need to tell me that. My prediction is probably... Let's see, wait. How many people do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 18 deployment slots. Ooh, I wish I had 18 deployment slots for, like, earlier chapters. But no, we don't. Very sad. Okay, let's first check out Alexander. 22, 24, 22, 17, 11, lock is 5. Slow burn. Okay, so the the longer we take, the more uh, the more dodgy he gets. We got a spear, flame sword, and lance reaver, and Bromhilda. 51, 51, 8, well, 51 HP. Let's see. 25, 23, 22, 12, 22, 14, 8. A Philly shield and an iron rune. So I'm gonna have to set up Michael to steal twice. I want that Philly shield and iron rune. Okay, those two are pretty much what I... Yeah, I'll need those. Okay, so... Here's our current cast, right? And we need we can add two more people. But who do we add? Because, like, literally everybody sucks. I mean, the ones that make the most sense here are Helga. And Ketut. Or Kerr, actually. But then again, Kerr doesn't really have any... Yeah, Kerr doesn't really have any... I mean, Kerr is great, but also... I think he's pretty much out... He's pretty much done in here. I'm thinking Ketut, but I promote her right now. Just so Wally Wallyo can have a support bonus. And then the other guy would be Helga, or the extra, yeah, see, extra Titus talking. But also Erasmus to talk to Bromhilda. Okay, this one's hard. No. I mean, if it had to be two people, then it would probably be Ketut and uh, and Helga. But you know what? Let's promote let's promote Ketut right now. I'll need all the help I can get. Okay, great.
Okay, we've got... Uh, there. There's a shop there, so... There's a shop in there. Okay, we'll pick Helga and Ketut. Alright. I still have to be very careful. I still have to be very careful though. Hey, Mirage! Lodi! Hello there, Lord Lodi Cakes. How goes thee? How goes you? How are you? How are you? Welcome in. It is time for, for Vision Quest. Doing well. I'm glad to hear that. I am glad to hear that you're doing well. Oh wow, he's got the dodge ring. Uh, will I be able to steal that? Or I fell into the gra into a Dragon Quest rabbit hole, though. I mean, you seem to be enjoying the rabbit hole portion of it. To be fair, you do seem to be enjoying the rabbit hole portion of it. I am. I'm well, glad to hear that. Actually, you know what? Storch would actually benefit from the boots. Because uh, Larissa has eight move, Kusuma has eight move, so you know what? We might as well use. Stor we might as well give Storch the. And besides, he's the main character. He's gotta have the best stats here. Okay. Other than that, I think we should be okay with. I mean, we should be okay equipment wise for everybody. I think. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're doing great, uh, and, you know, hopefully things will just continue to be great. How is the Crispy Bacon Lord? The Crispy Bacon Lord is quite alright. I'll take the Sagitte. I saw that Steam is having a capitalism and tycoon type sale. Yes, they were. Steam is currently having that. Uh, Steam currently has that. Also, hey, tea time. You rang? I just said hi. And also, yes, there is the capitalism and economy fest. I've seen it. Honestly though, all the games I wanted to buy, I've already bought. I am Resident Tycoon Enthusiast. So am I. I mean, I know the game doesn't sound like it, but I am a Resident Tycoon Enthusiast too, you know? But yeah, so far, um, I'm looking at all of the- I'm looking at all of it. The only games that would- in that, the only games I haven't bought that interest me here are... Um, Traveler's Rest, which is basically Stardew Valley, but you run an inn. One military camp, because that was a recommendation by Tea Time. Probably one or two of the City Skylines DLCs. Hotel Magnet, a Tastemaker, but that's like really super early access. Definitely not Fried Chicken, Project Hospital, and Tropico 6. And I'm not really itching to play any of them right now. Especially, uh, I'd like to try Tropico 6, but I haven't even tried Tropico 4 yet. So, I might sit this one out. But still, if you have any, like, hey, if you have any, if you like, if you would like any recommendations as far as capitalism and tycoon games, ring us. Ring me or ring tea time, both of us. We'll, we'll try to see if we can give any feedback. In Tycoon... Wait, is this is this like modern? Are we talking about a modern inn or are we talking about like ye olde inn, medieval? 
So basically another tavern master, but not quite because it's an inn. Okay, I think it would be also, I think it would be an appropriate time for me to start using uh, really good weapons. From the previous, it's a little like Tavern Master, but more developed. Even though it's very early on in its cycle. Okay. Still, that's on the, that's fine. Alright. Wait, you know what? I don't need that. We've got Seraphim and Zonishurn. We even have purge. You know what? I'll I'll use I'll I'll have Sigrid use purge. Yeah, you know what? I'll have Sigrid use purge. I think. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna uh, take the steel bow away. Okay, you get to use the silver bow now. You get to use the steel bow and also the Yabusame. You're gonna be an anti cavalry arch. You're gonna be an anti cavalry cavalry archer in Age of Empires terms. Okay, I'm gonna go check out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out In Tycoon. Always looking for more things to add. Oh, I see it. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks fancy. It looks really fancy. And and the aesthetic is practically perfect for me. Just enough detail. Okay, wish listed. That was easy. That was that was like really easy. That was an easy that was an easy wish list. Way too easy. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna move on from heel stabs and go for men stabs. Uh, okay, Vagilis also could use the Silver Bow now. Saruni, I think, can also use a Silver Bow, but no, I think Killer Bow is fine and a Sky Piercer. Okay, we've got a Speedwing and Angelic Robe. Okay, with Arcady, we'll take an Emerald Axe and... We've got so many of these, so I think I'm gonna give you a brave sword. Yeah, you deserve the brave sword. Musta na you. Ayun. Tao pa di tao pa naman. I am still a person, and carry lang. We we're doing all right. How are you? How is everybody? In fact, how is it? Do you have the time to talk about our Lord and Savior? Uh, might I ask who this Lord and Savior would be? <laughs> Wait, Alodia Got. Alodia Got. Alodia Got Chujang. Be right back. I must do the restarts. Yeah, sure, sure. No problem. Do your thing. I'll just be here. Is Sacred Stones after Blazing Blade? Yes, it is. Also, hello there, Sharpo Dante. Uh, no, they're actually well. Sacred Stones is a sequel of Blazing Blade, but at the same time, well, it, it's the game that comes after Blazing Blade, but the stories are completely different. And this is a ROM hack for uh, Sacred Stones. The one I'm playing right now is actually a ROM hack of Sacred Stones. It's not, this is not the Sacred Stones based game. So, but yeah. To answer your question, it's the game after Blazing Blade. And anyway, hello, welcome in. Alright, let's begin. Okay, so we got 25 turns to seize and, every, and a lot of um, enemies to eat. Oh, there's an arena! 
Guess I know who's taking up the. Guess I know who's using the arena. These two. I want to apologize for my behavior the other night. It was wrong of me to question you. I'm your bodyguard, not your wife. That's true, but I apologize for being so distant lately. I've had a lot on my mind. There is much to do. So do you really intend to take the tour from Prestad? It's clear he's not going to talk to us about this war. If I must, I will lead the Empire of Nevan myself. I will bring gl glory to this empire. All will know the might of Nevan. I see. I can't say I'm surprised, but I think I pieced it all now. Lord Titus, when the fighting is done, I'm leaving. Helga? You? You would leave me? You've always been good to me, so I'll stick with you this far. But the moment we finish this up, I'm heading out on my own. What? Will Will you go back to Bellaro? With Storch? Who said anything about Storch or going back to Bellaro? Lord Titus, you're awfully paranoid. I haven't even spoken to Storch. I'm speaking to you about it. I'm going to go my own way. I may need to make a few visits before I do that. But Lord Titus, until then, I am with you. We'll win this fight. Helga... Have I truly been so cruel? So neglectful? Sacrifices must be made. If it is now that Helga will depart, so be it. There will be others. I cannot let these trifles stop me. I will defeat you, Emperor Festan. And when I do, it'll all be mine. Because it's my first time playing Fire Emblem and I first stepped at Blazing Blade, I don't know if that's a good start though. It is! It's a great start. It is a great start. If anything, um, Blazing Blade and Sacred Stones are pretty much the starting Fire Emblem games. Okay, HP, Speed, and Defense for Helga. Already off to an excellent begin. Already off to an excellent start. I could actually even move her with Michael, just to get rid of this guy with the red gem. I don't think I'll need the red gem anymore, but I could steal it for kicks. I could steal it for funsies. Oh really? Then I'm good then. Yeah. Um, and actually, uh, Blazing Blade and Sacred Stones are probably what I'd recommend for first-time Fire Emblem games. You get to learn the mechanics. It looks great, especially the pixel animations, and the difficulty is really, really good for beginners. Um, in fact, I'd say Sacred Stones is easier than uh, Blazing Blade, but stick with it. The story is really nice, and the characters are really nice. And you know, if you've already survived Blazing Blade, I think you'll you'll have a fun time with Sacred Stones. And then, you know, later on, if you want to experience other uh, Fire Emblem games, I would recommend Path of Radiance for the GameCube. You can find it somewhere. The, su the Super Nintendo Fire Emblems are great too, but they're, they're, they have slightly different mechanics and they're also a lot harder. But, you know, that's for, that's for, that's for when you get seasoned and you get more experience. Okay, you know what? It's fine. I'll start Sacred Zones after my Blazing Blade. Currently at Hector Hard Mode now. Oh, damn! Hector Hard Mode! Ah, memories. Memories. I'd love to recommend... I'd love to recommend ROM hacks to you at some point, but... Uh, you know, enjoy the base game first. Enjoy the base games first. They're great. Okay, 28, 11, okay, so 24 damage. I need to deal at least 24 damage with somebody. What's the difference of the ROM hack? Um, 
it depends on what your it depends on the ROM hack itself. Uh Usually ROM hacks add like new car uh, well, ROM hacks pretty much take on life their own fire emblem game. So like they have their own set of maps, set of characters. Um usually ROM hacks that use Sacred Stones as a base also have skills. Uh, ROM hacks that use Fire Emblem 7 or Blazing Blade are a bit simpler but more straightforward. As you can see here, like, uh, for example, things like Strong Repose, Natural Cover, these are all uh, things that you can do with Fire Emblem Sacred Stones ROM hacks. But if you want to play something that plays more vanilla, uh, that plays a little more straightforward, uh, take hacks for Blazing Blade. But I would, I would say do that later when you've really gotten used to uh, how Fire Emblems play. I'd still say that after you jump from Blazing Blade to Sacred Stones, try to try to see if you can play Path of Radiance. Heck, even try three houses. Okay, I think this is fine. Yes, you can have a lot. There are a lot of differences. Um, some ROM hacks have completely new character, completely new races, and like new skills. Uh, for example, you can have a Pegasus Knight that casts dark magic and uh, lances, that sort of thing. Lots of things, really. Did I even try? I don't think I can handle those 3D errors. I'm just a newbie on this game. That's fair. That's fair. Then uh, for now, start slow. Go, uh, go do. You'll be fine with just uh, Blazing Blade and Hector Hard mode. It's a great. It, it's actually a really good game mode too. Okay, this one is a bit of a doozy. Actually, not just a bit of a doozy, a lot of a doozy. Yeah, I was thinking of like stealing this, but nah. So it's similar to Pokemon Generations. Uh, not quite. Um, some of the earlier Fire Emblem games actually have more, uh, some more complex mechanics. It's not like every iteration is sort of more complex and gets uh, better over time. Some Fire Emblem games adopt certain mechanics. GBA just, I think, distills it to the purest, to its purest, which is great for me at least. Storch, do you have a moment? We're in the middle of our biggest fight yet, but sure. I apologize, but there's been a thought lingering on my mind, and I want to ask you while we have some degree of privacy. Do you think Lord Titus has what it takes to be Emperor? Well, I know that was not the intent of this fight, it seems to be the outcome. Honestly, Chief, as long as he keeps the peace and can help people in need, doesn't matter much to me. So, your loyalties extend to ideals, not people. Not entirely. I mean, I'd take a sword to the gut for my family, for my friends. Power? It's a different thing altogether. Hard for me to say without having a specific situation. Power and personal loyalties. Storch, you've given me much to think about. How do you mean, Chief? In Kuching, much of our leadership is determined by loyalty to warriors. Seldom do people even consider how seldom do people cons even consider how they govern, but base their alle allegiances on their strength and their cult of personality. Hmm, hard to separate the person from the idea. But most of all, I've learned you gotta be able to communicate. Heck, we wouldn't be doing all this fighting if the Emperor would chat. He don't seem comfy with the chat at all and would rather fight. Huh, I suppose so. I mean, who said we'd even be in this mess if he didn't try to kill us? This wasn't even supposed to be a war on him. We wanted to stop it, after all. Hmm, a good point. Let's just hope he comes to his senses. I don't want to shed any more blood than what's necessary. But if he's gonna come after my friends, it's a fight he'll get. Hmm, let's be ready for whatever comes our way. 
Storch, it's been a pleasure to fight alongside you. Let us go and win. Backlash, Chief. You got it. And get it, we shall. But yeah, so... Newer Fire... Both old and newer Fire Emblem games add certain mechanics that are... Haven't been adopted in later games. Um, I just think that GBA is pretty much a distillation of all of the sort of the usual qualities that you would see in a game in, in a Fire Emblem game. That's how I put it. Okay, we need to get Helga out of the way. He's gonna get snipered. Oh, she's gonna get snipered. Look, I want to apologize for my comments recently. It's not that I think you are weak in character, but that I want you to be kept safe. Let the warriors do the fighting, Michael. Being strong in spirit is not the same as strong in body. Well, it's nice to hear some co sort of compliment from you, even if it is backhanded. I guess I'll take your advice and try to be safer. Very good. Thank you. Because I saw Marcus on a different game, and I seem to think that I should play on an older version or something like that. You're talking about... Um, Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade. It's uh, GBA as well. And you probably need to find a translation patch for it, an English translation patch. But Fire Emblem 6 is, um, as far as lore timelines go, that's the sequel of Fire Emblem 7, where you play as Eliwood's kid. And to an extent, Hector's kid. And Marcus is there. Yes, he's old, but he's there. Um, Fire Emblem 6 is also a great, uh, also another great game. It's a bit less, say, refined. There are certain mechanics in it that, well, it's a bit le No, I wouldn't say it's even less refined. It's raw, but in a good way. It's also a lot harder than both 7 and 8. It's a lot harder than both Blazing Blade and Sacred Stones. So that's another direction you can go to. The Binding Blade's great. So should I play Binding and Sacred later? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Highly recommended for me. I like a doing the courage. Okay, so how I wonder how this is going to go. Uh... 
Wow, already that bad, huh? You guys saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Okay, maybe let's keep Dewey out of that. Like, actually keep him out of it. Yeah, maybe I should keep Dewey out of his range. I think three can take one hit, but I'm not too confident. Yeah, three can probably take one hit from it. Fine. Okay, 42 damage, but let's see. I think I might want to just level Storch up. hate that the sword is named Corn Husker. Why? Why would you name this Corn Husker? Of all the name of all the names you could give legendary weapons, you had to give it Corn Husker. HP and rest. Eh, I wish it was better. I wish it was better than HP and rest.
the out. Okay. Michael's out. And she got a Philly shield, so I don't think she'll be. Uh, I don't think Hokulani will be in any trouble for now. Alright, let's see if this works. Because they're all gonna start flying towards me. Okay, fine. I'll take I'll, I'll take the damage for that. It's cool. At least I don't think there's any long-range enemies that could kill me. Ouch. Well, I forgot about that. I should have just you oh god. Alright, so he's got a 100% hit rate. See who's gonna die. Okay, so Ket at least get some. Okay, uh, Romhild is gonna meet us head on. I am concerned. Okay, Romhilda is going to try and take us head on. Also. Okay, we're gonna steal that, and we're also going to get Keto to kill him. Okay, speed and luck for Keto. That's good. Although that does mean I have to eliminate... Oh my good god. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of problems. I think we should just turtle for now. I absolutely think we should turtle for now. And of course, we just get HP for sleep. God damn it. I hate life. Okay, that does mean though that Oatly will be yeah, Oatly will be fine as far as like stealing items goes, but okay. Yeah, I think we'll need to uh I think we'll need to pull everybody back and then have Rum Hill to just pick on someone. Well first First we'll have him just eat cannon this guy. He's dead.
Yeah, I need to draw people. I need to draw them. Man. I will need to draw people in. I can't rescue Vagilis. Wait, 16 against 15. Okay, who's the again? This one's a bit hard. Like this one's actually really hard. Because I need to I need to make sure that nobody dies in one hit. And I can't have them like I, I can't have any of these units taking more than one. I'm not sure how well this will go. Oh, hold on. So, you've made your way to the capital after all. I'm impressed. Offenlock's been kept safe thanks to your diversion. It's time to repay that favor. Hey, we're getting Lori. Holy shit. Wait, what? How the fuck do you get hit with a 15%? That makes no fucking sense. Uh, oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Helga's not going to make it. Yep. I knew it. Okay, well, we'll see what happens here. How do you manage to get hit with a 15%? What the fuck is this game? I hate it. Like, 15% and she still gets hit. How? How? This makes no sense. None of this shit makes sense.
But, you know, Lori also doesn't make sense because holy shit, that's powerful. Alright. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be hard. This is like a super hard chapter already. I can already tell how super hard this is gonna be. Like, do we can't even double that guy? Oh wow, she's fucking powerful. Look at that. 28, 24, 24, 18, 16, 13. We get inspiration and fiery blood. And we can talk! So that means I can get her as like a recruitable unit then. If I talk to Lori right now, that's a recruitable? Oh, you can also talk to Lori. You know what? I'll I'll save the game and I will just reload it so I can hear both their conversations. Lord Titus, need a hand? Lord Lori? I wasn't expecting your aid. Thank you. A million thank yous. Thank me when this is all over. Let's finish this, all right? Of course. Let us be victorious. Okay, so that's what it, that's 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 how Lord Titus treats him. How about Storch? Lord Lori? He came. Is everything all right back in Oathenlock? Indeed. It seems your cater has taken the brother to damage. I fortified Oathenlock, armed to the teeth with soldiers. No one from the capital came. My scout said you were marching on the capital city. I thought you could use some help. You bit. You came alone? I don't know what the Emperor is planning, but if he tries anything, I need to make sure that my people are safe above all. It's okay you're not with him in case he does. I don't know how your Lord Titus runs the show, but a leader shouldn't need to call all the shots on their own. She should have a framework, a way for others to make decisions, a way to show trust for others. I trust my men to do the right thing. Hmm, makes sense. Well, I'm happy to have you here. Good, let's finish this. Hey, I actually like that. I like that conversation better. Also, let's give this guy a whack. Sorry, Erasmus, you're sitting this one out. You can't fight Bromhilda. That's your problem. Okay, let's talk about Lori. I mean, fantastic free promote, kind of a crutch unit. Her growths are actually pretty fucking good, even for. She's got only 5 levels, but look at that. 70% HP, 35% strength, 15% skill, 20% speed, 35% luck, 15% defense, 15% rest. Honestly, as a unit, she's already complete. Anything you get, any other stats you get after that is are just gravy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal the Iron Rune. So I'm going to devastate this motherfucker with Larissa. Okay, HP for the bard. Alright, so she gets this. Okay, you're gonna steal that and the Phoebe shield. Okay, HP, Speed, and Luck for Otili. Alright, so we've pretty much gotten all of the crutches out of Bromhilda. This should be pretty straightforward with uh, either Kusuma or Sarumi. I'm gonna take... I'll take I'll take my chances with Sarumi. Yup, she can do it. But also Kusuma can do it. Alright, you go get him, Kusuma. 
I've made my choice. Did you choose to die? No, you chose to die. Lamau. So this is how I meet my end. A knight's death on the battlefield. Was this how I imagined it would go? Perhaps now I can free be freed from my duties. Wait, really? That's all you're gonna give? Okay, we got strength, luck, and defense. But also, wait, that's it? That's really all there. That that's the end, bruh. Oh, oh! You know what? I'll waste it here. Yeah, you know what? It's worth doubling up on for just to kill that guy. It's worth doubling up on for just to kill that archer. Cause that pretty much frees up my entire that that pretty much uh frees up the battlefield and allows me to start moving again. And I will do exactly that. Yeah, I'll do exactly that. Okay, well, no mercy. <laughs> he just got smashed. Ah, uh, freaking Lori. I want to use her for like the final chapter, honestly. Of course. Of course. 23% and it still hits. I am not surprised by this anymore. All I feel is disgust. Like, I don't even feel it. I don't even feel surprise anymore. I just feel disgust. I got hit by a 15% and a 23%. Like... You'd think I'd. You'd think one of them would be miss at least. No. No. No fucking way. You ain't getting that lucky, Bacon Elemental. You ain't getting that lucky. Give Helga the. I'll, I'll give Helga free reign. Okay, let's see if this is good. It's a good thing I brought a lot of bow units. It's a good thing I lot of, uh, brought a lot of bow units here. Lots of, lots of enemies to take care of the wyverns. Also, you guys have zero chance of hitting Saruni with full HP. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. Just don't.
He's not gonna double. Wait, Kelly's not gonna get doubled, right? Oh, she is gonna get doubled. Of course. Fuck this life. Oh, wait. She dodges that. Uh, okay. I'll take it. Lucky break. I'll take the lucky break. Thank you. I'll take the lucky break. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Darn it. I thought she'd crit at least, but no. Fine. HP, skill, speed, and luck, dude. Sigrid is like super magic screwed, and even then, even with her magic, even with her being magic screwed, she's still like really, really good. Wait, I should have given her the Philly shield. Whoops. We probably need to give Titus an iron room too. Also, it's really laggy. Holy shit. It's super laggy. You know what, do we can stay there? is we're going to give Titus the or honestly I could give it to Waluyo as well oh wait no Waluyo already has Iron Moon so we'll just go ahead and give uh, here maybe drop the Sagitte on him hey
Oh wow, now she retreats. Yep, nope. You're still missing. Damn, Lori is fucking amazing. 3%. Dude, I would quit the game if the 3% hit me. Like, 15, I can still sort of understand it because this game's RNG is fuck. But 3%, I just... I would just flip my ship. Like, there is legitimately only so... There's only so much bullshit you can take. Also, I will take the Philly Shield. You can have the Sword Reaver. And I am going to head off to an arena, to the arena and level up, level Helga up. Get what honestly has a lot of opportunities to... Yeah, Get what has a lot of opportunities. She gets rest. That's fine. I don't mind. Yeah, she'll continue to get opportunities to level up and at least be a serviceable unit. Okay, who needs to level up here? Walia does. Arcady does. I will give it to Wally. Wally does Wally things. Wallyo does Wallyo things. Alright, HP, skill, and speed. Damn. Good stuff. This will keep him ahead of the curve. Okay, stealable, steel gem, heavy spear. That guy has a power ring. Wait. Oh, okay, so dodge ring, strike ring, shield ring, I see. Well, there's also a power ring that, uh, that someone can drop, so that's fine. Oh, hold on. I'll just be here. Here with my brave sword, and I will have Larissa go way up for the killer axe. Oh wow, he's actually not gonna kill him. He's actually not gonna kill, him, even if that did crit twice. Even if that did crit once, she's not. She wasn't gonna make the kill. Huh? How about that? Okay, I actually don't mind putting this on Zoya.
All right. Then what? Uh, we get Zoya. Yeah, we get Zoya to get nearby just for the support bonuses. I think Kokulani can take care of some of the enemies here. Particularly this dude. I mean, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you got the crit in the first hit, but hey, it's a kill. I'll take what I can get. Also, time to husk some corn again. Alright, good job, Mr. Corn Husker. Mr. Corn Husker. Nothing about that name will ever feel right to me. I gotta say, the chicken has become Cosmo's favorite toy now. Well, I'm glad. How much of a fa- wait. How much of a favorite are we talking about here? Wait, why is he running away? Why are you running? Why is that hero running away? Honestly, I kind of want to use Lori as sort of a meat shield slash dodge stamp. I, I want her to l see as little combat as possible. He's been at the chicken every night since the new year. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, part of that comes down to the fact that we aren't here, so... Yeah. Yeah, that bolting isn't gonna do shit to me. What, 1%'s gonna hit me somehow in this ROM hack? Entirely possible, but also, really? Okay, 24%. No, no, I will not be I'll not be overconfident because it happened. I'm you know what? At this point I'm I'm convinced that enemy hit rates are just you know, the numbers that you see on the enemy hit rate screen just aren't the numbers you really get. It's literally just the most random ass dice roll. It's the most random ass dice roll ever. Also, let's visit. Hey, you there! Why are you in my house? Can you help me escape? My parents made this move here. They said the rent in the city was getting too expensive, so we had to move out to the country. They're always complaining about their commute, but this place is so dull. The food is bland, there are no fancy buildings besides that arena. Anyway, I did some exploring in the forest out back the other day, and I think there's something secret there. Will you let me come with you? No? Aw, oh, heck, you're no fun. Just take this and go. My parents said it's important, but I can't trust them anymore. I don't think it's worth anything. Oh fuck, that's a fortify staff. Exactly what I wanted. Dude, that's exactly what I want. A way to just mass heal everybody. Also, I'm guessing this is the secret area. Either one of these tiles is a secret shop, so at least that's a, that's a reference. We'll probably have we'll we'll probably need to pick Otoli up. Or we'll probably need to have Otoli go there. Anyway. There is an abundance of Abundance of Sages means an abundance of Kokulani smashes. A 
Okay, we get HP, luck, and res. Well, there you go. Extra res. Skill, speed, luck, and defense. I got a horse slayer. Your horse is gonna get slain. I must bench before work. Alright, go right ahead, Mirage. Sure. Have a crispy rest of your stream, and thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for hanging out with me and to everybody else as well. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, promise we're gonna finish this. And you have a good rest as well, Mirage. Hope things uh, go hope things go well on at work. As well as they can be. I don't think I have a restore staff on anyone. That pretty much cuts off any path for Michael to get fucked over. Let's get both lead some combat. Oh my god! Okay. I certainly did not expect that, but that's a welcome surprise. I like it. a body ring but at the same time I don't think I need a body ring anymore you're gonna get bodied or maybe I'll just leave her at 1 HP I'll just leave her at 1 HP Probably use the same strategy though as I normally do. Just wait until these guys arrive. Wait until uh, these guys show up. Yeah, we'll just have them hang out here.
We'll just have him hang out here. It's cool. Nice dodge! Yo, Otili! And she even takes care of that guy. Yo, that's amazing. She even manages to take care of the hero. And, oh my god. Well, that's unavoidable. Can't be helped. Everybody else is just gonna go after Saruni and she'll just dodge everything and I love it. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not expect that. But Arcady just brave sorting everyone is amazing. There we go. HP, strength, and skill. Exactly the stats I want to get. I see I want to see out of you. Not gonna that's not going to do anything. You are not doing anything to me. That's also not going to do anything to me. Yeah, sure. Waste your ballista. Good. Waste your ballista shots on me. Good. Okay, I could arena right now. Well, for now, let, let's see what happens. Of course, it's a it's a steal. Oh wait, no, it's fine. There we go. might need Bulan to get some XP too. So we'll just keep uh, we'll just keep playing. Or we'll just keep using her to attack. Although now Okay well Hokulani's already leveled up. Oh, that actually works out for me. Leaving them at 1 HP for Bulan to finish off. There we go. Taken care of. And now, I can have Pokulani rescue Michael. And throw him here. And then I'll also put Otili here. They can all take they, they can all take their merry turns doing the things they need to do. While we do the combat. I mean Storch and Kusuma do the combat. Did. Didn't even 
even need to didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, so it's really just that first turn that's uh it's really just the first turn we need to get I, I need to get through and now it's everything feels like it's smooth sailing from here. Hopefully. I can't be too confident, but uh yeah, with Lori just smashing the shit out of people, I mean I can afford to be somewhat confident. Okay, so 20 damage. This one has 17. I think it's time for us to give a bit of shine to our uh, to our light magic users. Well, I'll try to. Hopefully, he, hopefully he doesn't crit. Yep, he doesn't crit. Okay, then we can have Keto kill that guy. Yeah, we can have Keto kill him. I was I was gonna set that up for Dewey, but okay. Saruni got it. It's fine. That's what happens. Okay, we get luck and defense for Ketut. I would have liked other stats, but okay. It is what it is. Have a restore staff. Okay, I wonder if I should go. You know what? I'll go this side. We'll go this side. Yeah, let's head over to this side. I could. Oh, I could actually use that hammer on Kasuyu. I've got five uses for hammer. Dagoris is still pretty much uh, okay. Nah, I'll spare the purge for later. I know exactly what I'm gonna use it for. Damn, Lori's fucking powerful. Look at her go. I could have used that I could have used that crit like three attacks ago. I could have used that I could have used that long ago. Why only now? And of course. Taruni, the queen of dodging. Unbothered dodging queen. And Bolting still hasn't hit anyone, so I'm happy. Still hasn't hit anyone. Uh, okay, that's bad. And she dodges the Berserk. Holy crap. 
Okay, part of me wants to just bomb rush that guy and smack him with a berserk. Because I'm looking at all their equipment. Yeah, she can totally do that. She can quite literally just devastate her. Do I need the body ring now? I don't think I need it anymore. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I need it anymore. It's fine. We can just... I don't know. Leave her. Probably. We'll see. Yeah, I don't need the body ring anymore. It'd be nice to have, but it's not like a mega requirement. And maybe the secret shop will stop them, I don't know. That's always a possibility. Alright, hammer and staff, we're gonna go for the Kasuyu. And the Dewey level up. Okay, magic and skill. HP and defense. Oh, wow. Well, that certainly is going to help her. That certainly is going to help her case. Because I need someone who needs who can support. I need somebody who can... Uh, well, she can tank. She pretty much needs to tank. And that added point of defense might just push her over the edge. HP and rest. Excellent. Funny thing is, Vaj Saruni actually ends up being way better than Vajalus. Look at that. 24, 27, 28, and then he got 27, 19, 22. It was like insanity. Insane. He's insane. Well worth. Well worth the investment I made in getting her XP and kills and stuff. Okay, let's see. Arena? Oh god, a berserker with a silver axe. Oh wait, she can make it. That's fine. Chill with. There we go. Hell yeah. Or in this case, hell gah. Alright, she can just keep leveling up there. It's fine. And then we'll have these three just head on up. Still hasn't moved, it's just Oatly who hasn't moved. It's still a bit risky though. Uh, what I'm doing, it's still risky. Putting Larissa that far forward is still going to pose some sort of some risk. And also, Dewey's gonna be exposed to at least one Wyvern. Oh, but she dodges it. 
Okay, she's safe. She's pretty much safe. I think everybody's either gonna focus their fire on Arcade or... Um, yeah. It's either gonna be Arcade or... Larissa. And they're probably gonna go... For the, the ones who can actually target Arcade are gonna go for Arcade, but... Other than that, I really predict Larissa's going to okay. catch all of it. Wow, what the fuck? She just dodges a 90. Or he just dodges a 90. That's stupid. He's gonna need a physics staff, though. Oh, come on! What the fuck? Wait, do I actually have... Oh, I can't even equip her with anything. Fuck, I have to redo the entire turn. No, not just the entire turn. The entirety of turn 7 and 8. I'll give that to Zoya this time. I mean, she already leveled up anyway, so I can give that to Zoya, I don't mind. Okay. Well, I was setting Storch up for that, but I don't need to anymore. Alright, go husk the corn. Or, you know what, the Brave Axe works just as well. The, wor the Brave Axe works just as well. And of course, the absolute canon that is Lori. Oh, 
Okay, let's try to set this up. Alright, so Keto gets this one. I mean, you didn't need to crit anymore, but okay. Thanks. HP and speed. You know, I like that level a lot more just because it's speed. Something that these people are lacking. Or sorely lacking. Not just lacking, it's sorely lacking. I mean, of all the levels, why skill? I could have, I could have accepted speed. No, I got skill. Even though light magic is already super accurate as it is. Or go off, I guess. Hey Eli, what's up? Hey. Fine, I'll take it. I'll take the damage. It's just nine. It's just nine damage anyway. I'll take it. Gonna try and hit her with three, three percent. Okay, well that just makes my job easier. The fewer enemies there are, the better. But her steel bow's broken. God damn it. Okay. And she dodges that. Okay, the thing is, that Berserk is scary. Like, that Berserk is scary as fuck. A sil oh wait, no. Silver lands. And of course, we get a si we get somebody that doubles. I'm going to die, aren't I? Uh, no, I'm not. I somehow get a very timely last minute crit. Oh well, a win's a win. A win is a win. Shove Dewey back.
Okay, this one's risky. Let's see. Because I really need to get rid of that Berserk. I really need to get rid of that Berserk user. HP, Strength, and Res. I think she'll need every little last bit of HP she gets. Just like Saruni is going well, she doesn't need to level up anymore, like her stats are also fucking amazing anyway. Look at it. HP, skill, and speed. Dude, she's gonna get 30 speed at this point. I think she's already capped. Yep, she's capped skill. In a way, she feels like the Giga is the Giga Chads. hasn't moved. It's only Oatly that hasn't moved, I think. So we'll end the turn here. Let's see if this let's see if Larissa survives this one this time. Bacon Poggy, I gotta get ready to go out. Sure, sure. Dude, do do what you guys need to do. Like, seriously, it's fine. Oh my god. That was lucky. That was extremely lucky. Well, the less attention Larissa gets, the better. Although I doubt I'll be too pleased by this. You have a wonderful night streaming. If uh, I might drop by later if I'm back quick enough. Hey, hey. It's fine, it's fine. Drop by when you can. You can dodge at least one. Yes. Okay. Come on, come on. Just dodge more. Dodge another one. Dodge another one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, actually. 16 HP left. I think she can even survive the Ballista shot. But, yeah, nobody's gonna be able to pester her. Like, no one's gonna be able to attack her. He's completely surrounded, but in a good way. Like, that's actually a really good thing. Okay, that's actually a really good thing. Uh, her being surrounded like this, that's awesome. And I'll explain why. Well, first, let's physic her up. Okay, now that Arcadia is here, Arcadia will be, with, with his support bonuses, I think he'll have a much better chance of dodging everything, so. Yeah, I think he'll have a me he'll have a better uh, he'll have a better job. Everything. 
yes, you have a wonderful you have a wonderful rest of your day as well, Lenny. Sigrid do it. We'll let Sigrid do the honor. I'll let Sigrid do the honor. let her stay as is. You know what? I will actually just let her stay as is. Just wait there. That's fine. Is the tightest? So, you've made it this far? You should be proud of what you've been able to accomplish. Remember, Freston is holed up in his palace inside the capital city. You need to be well equipped to take him on. Here, take this gem. It's worth a lot of money. Why give it away? Despite my looks, I'm actually already quite wealthy. But to hoard riches, it is greedy. There is joy in philanthropy. I wish you the best of luck in your journey. Gold gem? Oh, it's a white gem. Uh... Yayo? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to send the iron room back. I don't think I'll need it. Okay, part of me wants to go to the arena and... Oh, it's a steel axe. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Yep, we'll be fine. We will be fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, shit. We're dead. We're dead. Lama, never mind. A hero with a silver sword. Dude, kill me. That's not gonna go well either. Lamau. Okay, never mind. You know, just wait. Just wait in the fort and heal up and then try again. We've got like 16 turns anyway. Okay, so he is still asleep. Vagilis probably needs some levels, so I'll give him some. I'll give him shit to kill. That guy. And we could probably have Storch run after Larissa just to give her extra support bonuses.
Oh, she's dead. Like, no chance. She still got the bolting equipped. And her weapon rack just increased to A. Her sword racks are now A. There we go. So now we've got the Storch and Larissa cleanup crew. I wonder what's gonna happen if I try uh, if I try this. Let's see, Lori versus Alexander. Too late to back out. This gate will not fall. There's too much at stake. Ah. I thought there'd be some. I thought there'd be some dialogue. There isn't. I'm sad. I'm deeply saddened by this dialogue by the lack of dialogue. Also, they are gonna be tempted to go for Ketut, actually. Now that I think about it, they are they're they're gonna be tempted to go for Ketut. Or Waluyo. I don't think they can actually kill him, right? Oh my good lord. Why are you all going for the clerics or the Valkyries or whatever? Stop it. Oh, come on. Well, as long as Dewey keeps dodging, I'm fine with that. As long as Dewey keeps dodging, I'm fine with that. Wow, I'm surprised. I honestly thought that the Horse Slayer guy would go for Waluyo. Of course it's the one who has the lowest hit rate that actually hits. 32%? No, that's a miss. 31%? No, that's a miss. 22%? Oh, you're getting fucked. Okay, I can accept that. And of course, they can't even hit Lori. Okay, you know what? I think you're pretty much done here. Get out of here with that Nosferatu bullshit. Do I need to buy anything? Honestly, I don't. I don't actually need anything. Like, even if I look at all of these, very nah. Not even the restore, nope. So instead, what I'm gonna do is... This. I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go whack that Swordmaster. I will try to see if I can get to the secret shop, though. Because uh, they tell me that at least this house hints that there's a secret shop in this patch of grass, or maybe in, the, in this forest. Oh, Sage with fire. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I got lucky there. Very lucky. HP, Strength, Skill, Speed, and Defense. Alright, excellent level. That is an absolutely fantastic level. I think we can do one more. One more, um... 
yeah, one more. Okay, great knight with a silver left. Ah, all right. So 40 40 percent. So as long as he can survive four rounds of combat, ouch. Come on, dodge this one. Dodge it! Yes! Okay, we got it. We got this. We got this. Excellent. And we even get like an A-Rack that access for that. Amazing. Is he awake now? He's awake! Finally! I would like to see get to get better stats. If HP is all we get, HP is all we get. I mean, honestly, some of these guys are just deployed here to help boost my ally. So, Ketut's primary purpose really is to get that A support with Waluyo and make Waluyo much better. I just need them to survive. That's all there is to it. I'm still rather miffed. I'm still rather miffed that she hasn't gained any magic yet, but you know, that's just the way the dice rolls. Oh, okay. A crit I didn't need, but alright, sure, go off. I better get back to the gate. I better get back to the man in the gate. Lori has done her part. Yep, Lori's done her part. have just taken care of a wyvern problem. Yep, wyvern problems have taken care of. And all we got left to do is Alexander. Yeah, all, the only problem we have left is Alexander, and I will let Scorch do the honor. So. Yep, not gonna happen, buddy. HP, speed, and defense. Alright! I like that everybody in my party is just fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy.
Yep, there we go. That's that's what I'm looking for, the secret shop. It's a secret shop. Oh my god. Look at how cheap... Look at how cheap all these stat boosters are. And I've got 25,000 gold to spend on them. Amazing. Amazing. Oh my god. I am going to just... I'm gonna just stat booster the crap out of everybody. Might as well make the might as well make the final chapter as easy as possible, right? Actually, just given that kill to Bulan, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, you guys can just hang out here, I suppose. Um, on my end, you know what? Pokulani, get back here. I drew it. Oh, crap. Okay, come on. You need to dodge one. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Nice. I flirt with death too much. But hey. Prizes are prizes. And extra gold is extra gold. Alright, time to wait. And everybody is is out alive. Okay, so Dewey and Ketut are alive. Everybody's alive. Wow! Oh wow, thank you for the raid, Pixie! And welcome Raiders! Hello, hello there! Hi! It's me, Bacon Elemental, Crispy Bacon VTuber. Enjoyer of both old and new games, favorite genres are RPGs, racing games, and old school shooters, but my favorite of them all is uh, City Builders, Tycoon Games, and everything else in between. Hi! Hey Zap! Welcome in! What's up? And hello to you too, Danish Zed! What is up? Hi, hi, hi! So we are currently playing um, the very last few chapters of uh, a ROM hack for Fire Emblem Sacred Stones called Vision Quest. And right now we're just making use of all the all 25 turns to get some really cool stuff. Game sounds a little loud. Yeah, it's like that. Hello there. The angel. Fuck. I think it it's the music that really makes it loud. But thanks. At least thanks for letting me know. Something that happens. It, it, it happens a bit too often, but eh, what can I do? It'd be like that with old games. Yep. Oh, there we go. You. You're the common man. The one who helped Lord Titus usurp Bilaro. Tell me, why do you fight? I thought about that a lot lately. I've done pretty much everything I set out for, and heck, even more. And even after this time, I still feel like I'm doing this for my family. Sorry to raid and run, but I am sleepy. Sure, no, 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 that's fine, it's fine. If anybody needs to go to sleep, sure, please, please sleep. 
I hope you have a good rest of the stream. I will. Thank you so much again for the raid and thank you for sharing your community with he with me. Your model is dope, but you making me hungry. Hey, you guys should you know what? If you guys need to go eat or go sleep, please do so. I highly encourage it. You know. Please take care of yourselves first. Um, I really, really appreciate that you guys are here, but please take care of yourselves first. And if you need to go eat, you need to go sleep, please do so. We'll be here for a while anyway, so you can always come back. You can always come back anytime. It's fine. It is completely fine. Gonna lurk? Yep, sure, sure, no problem. Again, I appreciate everybody who's here. Just lur lurk if you need, lurk if you want. Lurk if you want. Please keep lurking. Thank you, thank you so much, Danish Zen. And as for you, Pixie, uh, I hope you had a great stream as well. Uh, please have a good night. And hope the rest. And yeah, have a good sleep. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. You and I, we are alike. It is a shame that we are on opposing sides. You can switch sides at any time. X, lots of folks have done it. Ain't no shame in that. If I betray the Emperor, my family will be sent to the gallows. I'm afraid my choice is clear. Damn it. I'm sorry. Me too. Now face me. Show me that you mean what you say. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna smack you with a, with a sword called Corn Husker. Go sleep, said Bacon playing games at 1am. Go sleep, said Bacon playing games at 3am. 4am? This is like a normal occurrence to me now. Yes, Kalina Bakadu. Hey, Q. What's up? My family. I'm sorry. Perhaps my cowardice will save you. Nah, he can't be dead, right? Imagine that. Imagine dying to a guy who has a sword that's named Corn Husker. Corn Husker. I'm just saying, Corn Husker. Do I need to repeat the corn husker part? Of course I do. Okay, so we've pretty much got a surplus of secret items. In well, we've got a surplus of stat boosters here. So let's see. 1, 1, 2, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Playing at 3am is fine because it's time to wake up soon anyway. Exactly. Okay. I need to know how many slots... I need to know how many inventory slots I have first. Okay, I have 46 inventory slots. Now I'm gonna go take my sweet time and uh, get some arena quote unquote abuse. It's not really arena abuse because I do have a turn limit to take care of. It's just, well, you know, what can you do if you finish early, right? Uh, crap. Paladin with a silver sword. Ow. And it doubles. He doubles. I hate my life. Nope. 
Oh, a bishop with lightning. Okay, 15. It's 15 damage. And somehow I dodge it? What? What's going on with this? Okay, enemies still haven't spawned. Okay. I was I was half expecting more enemies to spawn at around turn 15 or so. Oh, okay, a warrior with a steel axe. Well, my luck's not gonna be here forever. But I mean while it's here. We go. Michael has leveled up to 20. Fuck. He's got a silver sword. Ugh. Sixty gold. What the fuck? Six seventy. Falconite with a silver sword. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. That's not happening. Okay, silver lands. You think that's fine? Uh, okay, maybe that's not fine. Depends. If he can dodge both the neck both, never mind. That didn't work out. Oh no. No. Oh, they really don't want her to have it. Eighty. Why is it a falconite with a silver sword? Eight eighty. No way. Six ten. There, it's a Valkyrie with light. I can, I can accept that. HP, speed, and luck. all the items I'll need. I'll just give Hokulani one more whack and we'll be good. Alright, we're done with this chapter and the only thing left is the finale. Okay. 
There we go. We did it. But holy heck, that was not easy. It was through our combined strength. The Emperor lies in wait. I will prep my men. Excuse me. Commander Erasmus, I understand this must have been... I'm alright, Lord Titus. I could see it in the General's eyes. She didn't want this. I need a moment to collect myself. Well, Storch, the gate is ours. The capital city and Emperor Festan are in reach. Within our grasp. You think we should charge right in? I remember hearing Balti being huge, but I don't want us getting trapped inside. Trapped inside? My dear Storch, we have nothing to fear. We will charge in, valiantly vanquish the terrible Emperor, and realize the vision. The truth! The vision? What do you mean, Lord Titus? I... I'd prefer not to... Lord Titus... Are you talking about that ceremony you did? The one in Mahala? Out in the desert alone? Is that... Is that what this is all about? Lord Titus... Now I see. I understand what this is all about now. This whole thing was about you the entire time, wasn't it? It was never about what was best for the people. All this killing to satisfy some vision? Storage... To rise to the top, others must fall. Defeating Festan is our top priority. So that's it. Everyone's in your way. What, was your grand vision to ascend the throne of Nevon? To become the fucking emperor? What the fuck? Why would you even... Why would you put fucking in this... Okay? So that's why we did all this. It was all for your ambitions. Your desires, wasn't it? All this talk about the people, it was for naught? You only want to stop Festan's war to start your own? To fulfill your own desires? Storage, you must look past this. Think of the power, the riches, the prestige. All of this could be mine, and by extension, yours. Bear the speech, Lord Titus. Look, I've stuck with you this far because you've helped me out. My family's safe because of our combined efforts, and I know I would have been up a creek with no paddle if it had not been for you. But Lord Titus, I've stood by silently for too long. After this battle, after we defeat Emperor Festan, I am leaving. I'm going home. I'm gonna stick around to collect the gold you promised, and then I'll go back to Bularo. I can't speak for the others, but I'll go alone if I have to. I won't stop you. But remember, there is always a place for you here. Don't expect that vacancy to fill anytime soon, my lord. But just remember something. You are where you stand today because of me and my friends. The sweat and blood we put into every battle, without it, you wouldn't be here. And don't you dare forget that effort, Lord Titus. You dare tell me that I am nothing without you? Storch, it was I who was behind it all. It was I who rallied your group to defeat Lord Graydon. It was I who staved off nefarious forces that threatened Mahala. It was I who led our forces to claim Fort Kavare. It was through my leadership that we defeated Lord Darien, Lord Alexander, and General Bromhilda, the most feared warrior in our empire. And now it is I who is holed up in my mads, fearing death? No, I am the one who strikes fear. It is me, Lord Titus, the rightful heir to the throne, the new Emperor of Nevan. I will usher in a new era. Do not tell me that I am nothing without you, Storch. You have not the right. Lord Titus, if this is how you feel, I have nothing more to say. You've changed, Lord Titus. As soon as this fight is over, I'm out of here. Remember, you may gain something today, but don't forget what you've lost too. Alright, Storch. I was wrong about you. I felt all this time you wanted something from me, that you wanted what I wanted. And perhaps in my fear, I lost myself to madness just then. It's clear to me now that all you want are the basics. Security, food, a warm bed, all of this just for that. Enough gold to keep your family afloat. Is this the plight of the common man? Doomed to his life? A life of misery? Finding comfort in only the most basic joys? Hey, what the fuck is this guy up? Okay. Slaving away tirelessly, tirelessly simply to earn the right to live? Perhaps, Storch, together we could have made this change. To save the people and usher in a new era of prosperity. But if you wish to have no part in this, I will have to find another way. Storch, how do you fare? I heard what I thought was shouting. Oh, hey chief. Just a little tense, that's all. Hmm, I understand. I won't pry. But know you can trust me. Chief, why do you fight? Hmm, hmm? I suppose it's because I have to. To protect what is important to me. Do you ever think about the other side? 
the lives lost, the broken families, the despair caused by your own hands. What's this all about? Please answer the question. I'd be lying if I said it was on the forefront of my mind. I suppose in the heat of it all, I can only focus on what is right in front of me then. Focused on survival. Whenever I am feeling doubt, I think of my dear Ketuk and the loyal friends I have. The ones who support me in the good and hard times. The ones who encourage me to press on even when hope feels lost. But my actions in war may lead to the deaths of many. Would it serve those dear to me if I had laid down and died? No. And that is why I fight. Thanks. That helps, Chief. It's a shame it has to be this way, you know? But I get you. Everything I do, I do for my family, for my friends. All the fighting is to help, help protect them. Make sure they can have a happy, better life. I understand how you feel. Sometimes we must fight to have lasting peace. What do you call that, Chief? An orthodox? I think he meant paradox, right? A paradox, Storch. Ah, right. Thanks, Chief. Anyway, we should get back to the others. The final fight is about to begin. So they've all fallen. Lord Alexander leaves behind a young family, and General Bromhilda died in battle for me. I am all that remains. Should I surrender? What exactly am I here fighting for now? For my own foolish pride? A selfish dastard I am. Questioning why you fight? Horvath, so you live after all. Please don't hide your utter disappointment. Don't forget our deal, Emperor Festan. There's no backing out now. I am well aware. If I fall today, then I deserve it. I am not the legitimate emperor. So you've said it yourself now. My, my, how you would so easily throw it all away when it gets tough, but clutch to it with dear life when all is good. The world will soon know that you are false one way or the other. Whether Lord Titus knows that you were a street urchin that murdered the true heir Festan as a child, taking his place in assuming his role, or takes the throne from you by force, it will not matter. You will lose. Hm, so be it. I've accepted my fate. I will sort the men. Just get out of my sight. You've done more than enough. You nobles and fate. Do you not realize fate is but an excuse to avoid a difficult choice? There is always a way, but if assume it fate, you will give that chance away. My fate is unwritten. I am the author of my destiny. Perhaps next time I will be victorious, but I do not fear. I lost this battle, but the war is yet to be won. It is time I return home to report all we've learned. And when Emperor Titus is crowned, no doubt he will be of use. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Before we even proceed with this, let me get this straight. So, Titus finally lets the cat out of the bag, and Storch finally realizes that the reason why he's so gung-ho and foolhardy with all this is because he wants to fulfill a vision. Okay, that, 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 that's been explained, but where the fuck did this... He's not the real Emperor Festan come from. So you mean to tell me all this time... That the emperor I was supposed to fight is just a body double because he killed the original emperor. Like, are you telling me he killed the emperor and assumed his place? Is that what this is all about? That's that might be what it's all about. 